channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an old-fashioned what's in my bag, and I am going to be talking about this beauty right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size in the Dummy Ben with the beautiful, beautiful rose ballerine interior. So I did an Instagram live yesterday, and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle right here. I loved getting a chance to chat with you guys answer questions and just kind of get to know you I love doing those periodically so if you're not following make sure to do so but one of my lovely subscribers asked if I could do a what's my bag she said that she really enjoyed these so I thought well you know what let me go ahead and do a what's my bag on this little tote right here because it is the weekend and this is a perfect weekend bag so this is going to be just very relaxed very casual I'm just gonna share with you what I fit in here so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to see what's in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size then keep watching. Okay one thing I do want to mention I have had this bag for a couple of months now but if you want a more in-depth review want to hear the positives and negatives so far make sure to check out this video right here because I do break it down even more and this video specifically is strictly going to be what's in my bag but I do love this bag it is a great weekend bag it's a great tote and the best thing about it is it fits a lot. So before I get into this, I just want to say I need your feedback below. So I have been filming with the same camera for years and I still have the same camera, but I invested in a lens. So I need your advice. Is it better? Is the picture a little more clear? Because one problem I was having is I just used the lens that came with the camera and I would find that the autofocus was messing up. Like it would focus behind me, but it wouldn't focus on my face and I'd be blurry for some of the video and it was really driving me crazy. So I really wanted to get a new lens. So I am filming on the same camera, but I just switched out the lens. So let me know your thoughts down below. Is it better? Is it a little more crisp and clear? Cause that's definitely my goal whenever I do videos like this and I show you guys things I want you to be able to see them and I feel like in the past it's been a little blurry so I'm always trying to improve so let me know if this helps okay so let's get into the bag right here this is what I have in here so far. I have quite a few items and we're going to go through all of that today. And just like usual, all the items I share with you, I will link down below. Now, one thing I want to show you, I do have a Zumoni organizer. Let me take this out and let me just show you. This video is not sponsored by Zumoni, but I do have a Zumoni organizer. A lot of you ask me what color I use. This is in the color icing pink. And I love getting the organizers because it keeps my bags a little more structured and it makes it so that that it doesn't get dirty. A lot of my bags get super dirty. So I do have a code for Zumoni. I'll put it up on the screen. Keep in mind this video is not sponsored. I don't make any money off the code, but they were just kind enough to provide it for me, for you, to save 20%. Okay, so now let's jump right into it. Um, I'll put the bag kind of up here so you can see it. All right, so the first thing I want to mention is this little guy right here. You have seen this. So much this is my Elizabeth pencil pouch I've been loving it for just like a little keep all in my bag and I've already kind of shown you what's in it not a lot has changed but you can see in here I have a little bit of lotion this is Satsuma I have some perfume Juliet has a gun not a perfume I have the nest Seville orange I have my way by Giorgio Armani these are all great scents now you're wondering why do I have three perms perfumes. I don't know because I like to change it up. I have a little lip balm and then I have a pen and a tampon. This is a great, great little piece. I've told you guys this before. I mentioned that when I did purchase this, I didn't plan on using it as a pencil pouch. You can, of course, but that is the beauty of stuff like this. You can really use it for whatever you like. And I have actually found it to be super handy. Some of you asked me if it's gotten dirty. So here's the bottom of it. Um, it's white. So far, so good. Um, I haven't really gotten any stains or anything on it, so I've really been loving this. So that's the first thing. Okay, reaching back in the bag here, let's go here. So this is actually my phone. Um, this case, where did I get it from? I want to say I got it from Target. I just love the marble, or maybe I got it from Nordstrom. Either Target or Nordstrom, I'm not sure, but I have the iPhone XR, and then there's just a picture of my daughter on the front. She plays hockey, so I have that. 
Okay, reaching back in here. Oh, I have this. This is uh, my agenda in the PM size. And a lot of you have asked me to do a dedicated review on this, so I still plan on doing that. But this is a great little organizer. It's really tiny, so it fits in a lot of handbags. So if you're a planner or someone who likes to stay organized, definitely consider this one. And I have mentioned before that I just get the little like file effects refills from Amazon that are like 10 bucks. But you can keep credit cards here. I don't, I just have the the little refill and then on the back if you want to keep cash or something you can but this is really handy uh, I really like to stay organized whether it be for sky schedule or whether it be for like my work schedule I like to stay organized so I like this little um, to have this in my wallet I mean have this in my purse Okay, jumping back in, let's go with my keys here. Okay, so I, you guys know I'm a little bit of a small leather goods hoarder. I call myself a collector. So I like to change out my small leather goods. So right now, I am currently using my Recto Verso right here. I've mentioned before, if you wanna see a more in-depth video, uh, I did a comparison between this and the Empron key pouch. But I do enjoy this. I currently have my key fob, my gym membership, my keys attached. And then this is how I use it. In this little pouch right here, I currently have my ID and a major credit card. And then in here, you open it up. I have a little bit of cash and then I have my most used credit card. So Target, Home Goods, those torque types of things. And then there's also a little hidden compartment here if you want to put a little bit of cash, but I really do like this. I have experienced a little bit of glazing issues here, but other than that, you know, it stayed in pretty great condition, but I love these as just um, an on the go type of item. If you don't want to take a purse, I use this all the time when I go to the gym because it has my keys, a little bit of cash, an ID, and a credit card, and it's great. So it really comes in handy, so I'm using that. This little guy right here, this is the Hermes Bastia, and this is in the color Blue Frida. You guys joke with me all the time. I do still carry change, so I am one of those people that I will pay at the register, and I will give you some change if it's like $7.53. So you open it like this, and I've mentioned I love these because you open it, it has like the little lips so that the change won't fall out, and it's really easy to pick, you know, the change that you need, but these come in so many different colors. I have it in black and then this blue Frida. Now there, I do have a little pink one on my wish list, but I keep telling myself, Amber, you don't need any more, but these are really handy if you like change. They're also really thin and compact too. Okay, reaching back in, I have, oh, I have this. This is my Chanel uh, cosmetic pouch. You can use it for cosmetics and lipsticks. I actually did a reel on Instagram kind of sharing with you the different ways to wear, different ways to use it for like makeup, uh, cash, receipts, credit cards, gift cards, all types of things. I love this light blue. I picked this up in my 40th birthday haul. Oh my gosh, it was to match my small mini rectangular. So this is great. I love this. It is thin. It's really durable. I have used and have used this, but I just keep all of my, the rest of my credit cards in here and then some more cash. So a lot of you ask me, you're like, does someone really need that many small other goods? You definitely don't, but I just like to have them in my purse because I like to kind of stay organized and know where certain things are. And um, I love this. This fits a lot and you can see that it doesn't expand too much and it's really durable as well. And I have uh, one in turquoise and I also have one in black as well. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I have... Um, okay, I have this. These are my uh, little AirPods. I just got this little case uh, from Home Goods. I have that with me. And then I have this. Again, when you get the Zumoni organizers, it comes with this little flat case. Um, you don't have to use it for hand sanitizer, but it actually fits the, oh, the hand sanitizers perfectly from Bath and Body Works. You can either put it in this way or you can put it in like this so that it doesn't spill. I usually just have it in like this, but it comes in handy. And then what else? I also have, oh, I have this in here. This is the little pouch that comes with the purse. I don't really have anything 
in it now so sometimes I would take it out I just happen to have it in it but this is great I've mentioned if you're traveling because you can use the large tote to keep the majority of the items uh, in and then if you're going out to dinner this is a nice little like clutch that you can carry with you you can use it as like a little wristlet I just I really love the never folds because I think you get the most bang for your buck because not only do you get a lot of space in the bag but you also get this bonus little item too I'm a big fan of like the bonus items Items. Um, a lot of you have asked me if I own the Felici. I don't own that, but that is something that's kind of been on my radar because I love the idea of getting the little bag and then inside the bag you get like the little uh, pouches or like wallets too and you get the most bang for your buck. So love this, but I don't have anything in it right now. And then the last thing I have is, okay, can we just, can we take a moment to admire the beauty that is this little mini pochette. You guys know that I have been on the, I was on the hunt for this forever and I finally got it from Fashion File. Um, I paid a little more than retail for it, but it was in new condition. And um, I'm so excited I added it to my collection because I just absolutely love the color. It's just so pretty and it has the uh, silver hardware. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. So right now I just am housing a couple lipsticks in here. Uh, let me show you, but let me tell you one I've been loving. This uh, is by Hermes. It's in the color Rose Tan. This is kind of weird because it's not really like a lipstick. It's more of like a waxy consistency. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today, but I have really found myself gravitating towards it. It's a really pretty mauve and the packaging is beautiful too. And then I also have this. I can't say enough good things about this by Chanel. This is in the color Light Mauve. You have a liquid lipstick on one side and then you have a gloss on the other. This is so good. The liquid lipstick is very lightweight and thin. It stays on your lips. And then, like I said, it has um, the other side, which is a gloss. And this is just a really, really, really pretty, pretty lipstick. And I have two shades. I have Tender Beige and then Light Mauve. And then I have these Juicy Tubes by Lancome. This is like a really, really good lip gloss. Actually, let me put a little on today. Um, just a little tube like this. And you can see it's not sticky, but it's really, really glossy. So I keep this in here because you never know if you're gonna want a lipstick or a gloss, right? So then I have two more lipsticks. I have this one by Gucci in the pretty like Gucci packaging. I love that. And then this is in the color Call It A Day with a really, really pretty mauve tone. So really, really like this one. And then I have one more. Um, this is in Indian Rose. This is by Tom Ford. Beautiful packaging. It's a really good lipstick as well. And again, it's another pretty mauve tone. You guys know how much I love my mauve tones. And then that is all I have in there. So that right there is everything I have you can see it can actually fit a lot more a lot of times they will also carry a water bottle in there as well but this is a great great tote especially for the weekends when you're running errands and you just need to like throw a bunch of junk in your purse this is a really really good bag but I hope you enjoyed I love sitting down and filming these casual videos for you like usual I will try to find these items and link them down below if I can't find the items I'll try to find very similar items but I'll also link the lipsticks and everything too. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. And let me know, you guys, is there an improvement in the quality? Am I clear? Is the picture more crisp? I really, really would love your feedback because as I stated, I'm always trying to improve for you guys and make better quality content. So let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Which means the